Hi, today I'm going to give you a quick update on ArcGIS Earth 1.4 and 1.5. One of the major features is the new portal connection workflow. It allows me to easily manage multiple portal connections. The portal manager panel lists all the portal connections I have added from the configuration file. But you can also add a portal using the add portal button. Right-clicking on the portal URL, I can sign in or sign out from the portal or set it as active. I can also do this by selecting available portal URLs from the switch active portal drop-down list. Now that I have chosen an active portal, I can go and add portal items by clicking the Add Data button. You can see the portal tab will appear and allow me to search and add available portal items from my organization. Now I'm going to change my base map to world imagery. Another major update is the drawing and measure workflow. I'll show you how to quickly draw a place mark and edit its properties. First, I'll locate the Joshua Tree National Park from the search bar. and then clicking on the draw button on the toolbar. Choose point, and then the drawing edit panel will show up for me. I can drop my point to a mountain peak where I went hiking. I can also move it around by clicking on the place mark and drop it to another place. And once I finish, the drawing element will also add into the table of contents. ArcGIS provides a more robust edit panel for drawing elements since 1.4, which include editing on general information and style, the camera view, and also descriptions for pop-up display. So now I'm going to give the place mark a name. For the icons, I can select default icons, but also I can add my customized icon from my local machine. and then set the label size and the color. In the view tab, I can set the accurate position for the point and snapshot a good camera viewpoint attached to it. You can also set the altitude mode to drift relative or absolute for the drawing element if necessary. The pop-up descriptions is in HTML format. So here, I will add an image link into the description's test box. Or maybe you can add some more tests. Now I click on the place mark, you can see the pop-up window will display the image I just added. From the table of contents, I can always re-edit the properties of my drawing layer. In 1.5, ArcGIS provides a smooth switch from measure to draw. With this feature, you can easily save your measured sketch as a drawing element by clicking the Save button on the Measure panel. So now I have drawn the path. And then the measurement information is also saved automatically to the pop-up descriptions. Beyond all that, there are some other useful features and enhancements that give you a better user experience we continue to enhance the support for S3 SyncLayer package. You can add the SyncLayer package by drag and drop it into the TOC or into the viewport as you usually do. So here is a SyncLayer package of 3D objects. You can also add the integrated mesh layer as well. With the new feature of search in TOC, you can tap in the keyword and easily scroll through your search items from the table of contents. At last, I'm going to show you my favorite new feature, the Map Tour. If you have a Map Tour KMZ file, you can add it into the table of contents and simply double click the play icon. Then you can start to enjoy the tour. To try out these new features, you can go to our homepage to download the latest release. You are also welcome to ask questions or post your thoughts on the GeoNet community of ArcGIS Earth. So have fun! Thank you!